whenever you're having Kalman syndrome or HH, which is, I think, overlooked by the medical profession on the whole and by people who don't know about the condition, are the psychological issues involved with it. Whereas the physical symptoms are fairly well treated fairly easily with hormone replacement therapy in the forms of gels, patches, pills, creams, implants, there's quite a range of treatments available depending where you live and or which treatment is best for you or fertility treatments for some people. But it's the psychological issues which are less easily alleviated or less easy to recognise. I, from my own personal experience, I can and speaking and meeting with other people with Kalman syndrome and HH, I think the key point to this is the age of diagnosis and the age treatment is started. And I think the earlier you start treatment, or the closer in age to when puberty starts, that you start treatment, the less likely you are to have psychological issues further down the line. Now, I think a lot of these issues are actually caused by what I call social isolation, or being, or almost being left behind by your peer group as a teenager. So... Because you have delayed puberty or absent puberty at 16, 17, 18, when everybody else is developing physically and emotionally or going through puberty and their adolescence, a somebody with Kalman syndrome can feel left out completely and just left behind while everybody else is developing, you're then left thinking, nothing's happening to me. So, and if you've got no diagnosis, you have no idea what is wrong with you and you get this impression that you're the only person in the world with this condition. Now, if you have the treatment early, you know, you know, you could then get the impression, oh, okay, at least I know what the condition is. I'm getting treatment, and I'm going to do, it, and I'm going to go through almost normal puberty. But if you get into your twenties with no treatment at all, these it, these years of isolation or not going through, to, not developing correctly can leave you feeling so far left behind. You think you're never going to catch up. And for some people I speak to, they find it very difficult to form relationships because they feel so socially isolated. You don't have the social skills for the social interaction. And quite a few people I speak to are are more happy being by themselves because they they feel more comfortable like that because they haven't developed the more the social skills and so and of interacting with other people. It does vary from person to person. There's no one set of issues which are common to Kalman syndrome people because I speak to people with Kalman syndrome who consider themselves completely normal lives. They have a, they get diagnosed early. They have, they meet the right person early in life, and then have a totally what they see normal life. Kalman syndrome is not really a major issue for them. They take the testosterone injection once every three months. That's all they need. But it's some people who, I then feel. They get left behind a bit too much and they find it very difficult to catch up. And then having this condition, it becomes far more important to them because it's the only thing they think about because they feel, well, they've left behind and thinking there's no, there's nobody else there out there with this same condition. I think meeting people with the same condition does help. It's when you actually get to, get to realise that you're not the only person with this condition. It's a recognised medical condition and the treatments available and when you talk to online or phone or actually meet in person other people with the same condition and see how they've coped with certain areas and maybe say well that's how they cope with it maybe I can cope with it the same way as well and you can see people who are happily married have children and having Kalman syndrome is not a major issue then you talk to other people in their 30s who have difficulty forming relationships and you get two ends of the spectrum and I think actually physically meeting other people with it actually is such a big advantage. Now I'm in a way I'm quite lucky because I go out of my way to meet people with Kalman syndrome and I've met say quite a few people now probably over 50 people with Kalman syndrome or HH. I find it an advantage to be able to talk to other people and get ideas and how they cope with certain things so when I talk to other people it helps them as well. And hopefully, everybody I've met has found it useful to meet somebody with Kalman syndrome. Because unlike other conditions, a lot of people with Kalman syndrome have never ever met anybody else with the same condition. And I think the actual meeting and talking to and interacting with other people with the condition helps you have this confidence to lead what we call a, 
I'd say normal life, because people with Cameron syndrome are normal, they just haven't gone through normal puberty. They can lead perfectly normal lives. And for most of us, having the condition is not a major issue. But for some of us, it can take a little while longer to develop, just to quite easily catch up, or just develop the more, get the relationships they think they should have. And the key point is the age of diagnosis. And once again, we go back to the point where GPs and doctors are the ones who should be picking this up earlier and not just dismissing people as late developers. I really do hate that term, late developer or late bloomer. I would go back to saying, well, boys at 15 and girls at 14 who haven't started puberty should be referred to specialist endocrinologist for a specialist review and not just told to go away and wait and see. Because even if it's just delayed puberty, it's best to get the diagnosis as early as possible and that helps to alleviate any problems later in life. Because the earlier you start treatment for Kalman syndrome, the more likely you are to go through as normal puberty as possible. Once you go past 20, it's, the treatment becomes slightly less effective. So the earlier treatment starts, the better.